Cyclist Paul Scholl is spending his summer biking across the country to raise money for two special causes. He made a pit stop in Brainerd to talk to the community about his trip and to spread his message of perseverance. Our, Log our Logan Gay has more on this journey with this week's Community Spotlight. As a current teacher in Fergus Falls, Paul Scholl has always had a heart for service and assisting children as they pursue their education. Now he is taking his passion outside of the classroom and around the country as he partakes in a 4,500 mile bike ride. Decided this summer to make a trip across the country on bike. So I'm about a month in, about 2,000 miles done, about halfway, halfway done. Scholl is using his bike ride to raise money for two different missions. One is the Legacy Children's Foundation in Fargo, and the other mission is spreading his Christian faith by giving out free copies of one of his favorite devotional books called Jesus Calling by Sarah Young during special stops he makes along the way. The Legacy Children's Foundation, over the last four or five years, I've volunteered with them. They're a nonprofit in Fargo. And uh, they, uh, long story short, they do some pretty amazing work with the at-risk youth, middle school and high school kids in the Fargo-Moorhead area. And so I've seen it, I've witnessed it. And so I uh, uh, partnered with them and, and made my ride for them. He started his journey in Florence, Oregon, and his final destination will be in Bar Harbor, Maine. In order to make it to his final destination, he sticks to a pretty strict schedule. Here's my day, 5 a.m. wake up, 6, uh, getting out the door about 6, trying to beat the heat and the winds. Um, and then I ride, uh, take breaks along the way, eat lunch. Um, during those breaks and lunch, I'm always trying to call ahead uh, another town or two ahead, trying to um, uh, continue to make those connections, um, talk, talking to hosts that are hosting me, churches, pastors. Through his journey, Shell has ridden through some very beautiful areas but he has hit some rough patches along the way. The really tough parts have been eastern Montana. So sorry if anybody grew up in eastern Montana or has a connection there, but I don't think I ever want to travel through that again. Uh, I, I really mean that. That was, that was tough. Um, I saw more cattle than I saw people for two days. There were hardly any water stops. Um, I was, this is Highway 200 um, going through the central part of uh, Montana. Um, there are 90 degree heat both days. Uh, each day was a long ride, 140 mile ride. And of course, Joel would not be able to get anywhere without his trusty bicycle, where he carries all his essentials. Keep all my tent stuff, clothes, um, uh, cooking, uh, food, so I can carry, I, can, I tell people I can carry my kitchen, I can carry my living room, I can carry my bedroom, and I can carry my bathroom all on my bike. Shell is hoping that his trip will inspire more people to live a more active lifestyle. In Brainerd for this week's Community Spotlight, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. 100% of the donations go directly to the Leg Legacy Children's Foundation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.